wherever sun sits in your chart these 10 things will happen or maybe you should make it happen or could be the traits of certain personalities which that house represents or certain areas which that house represents all right so if you're wondering what happens then uh, you need to go to my astrology basics playlist and learn about the particular houses because everybody will have sun placed in a particular house so we cannot discuss for every house but also remember sun rules one house so wherever the sign leo is as per your ascendant that is the house where sun is which sun is ruling so these traits these 10 traits which i will tell you will hold true for to these two houses so where sun is placed and which house sun is lording so for both the houses these traits may be applicable okay so therefore the first thing uh, that sun indicates so wherever sun is placed or whichever house sun is lording it indicates your self identity and ego now this does not mean ego in a arrogant sense could be or may not be but it means there's a very strong sense of identity so it's like the word atma okay so the word atma basically means identity so how how do you identify so for example if you have sun in the first house you might identify very strongly with yourself your own views your ideals your opinions your likes your dislikes okay so this can be perceived as a bit uh, narcissistic sometimes uh, for example if you have sun in the first you know or fifth or tenth because uh, people may feel that you know you, you are too much uh, about yourself now why does that happen because now the first and the fifth especially they are all about yourself so if sun is there it's like a double uh, double energy double engine okay so it because of that you feel very strongly about yourself and you also believe you are always right in that area okay so <laughs> if surya is in lagna and uh, somebody comes and tells you oh you, 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 you I, I don't think this is right you no know, what you think is not correct you'll be like ah who are you to say like this okay so this happens so there's a very strong sense of identity and ego that is there okay number two there is leadership and authority this is very important so surya in the 10th house why does it get digbali there because there is leadership and authority in the house of profession in the house of your career so now imagine you have some authority over your house okay you are like the boss of your house but how big is your jurisdiction not very big maybe there are four or five members in your house and they all listen to you so that's your jurisdiction but maybe you know you have jurisdiction over your family your like you know extended family maybe there are 100 people who listen to you, okay or maybe your children your seniors sometimes you know or your spouse or whatever but suppose now you have jurisdiction over the government so then what happens thousands and millions of people are forced to listen to you so that is why the 10th house shows government and leadership position so having a leadership role in a leadership or government or you know, like the judiciary politics or is upsc and all this that makes the sun extremely powerful because the number of people who will be forced to say yes to your decision uh, are uh, are a lot right so therefore the sun gets dig bali in the 10th house okay so now uh, if you have sun in any other house you will have authority there okay so for example if surya is in the fourth you may have authority over you know real estate and you know you will have some name fame there you know, people will know you for certain things where sun is placed or whichever house sun lords okay that's very important number three there is vitality and health okay so what does this mean vitality and health does it uh just mean you know you are healthy so uh if sun is in the Mm, 10th house 10th house shows your knees so does it mean uh, your knees are healthy i mean it's bizarre right <laughs> no it does not mean that well it can mean that you know if surya is in a particular house like surya is in the first house your whole body is like you are very energetic and you are full of energy vigor enthusiasm but when i say that surya gives vitality and health it means there is enthusiasm in that area of your life so for example if you want to start a conversation with somebody it is best to start with the the place where surya is sitting 
or a place which sun lords because wherever sun is placed or whichever house sun lords in your chart you will feel you know a lot about that house you will feel that okay <laughs> so because of that what happens is if somebody is striking a conversation with you regarding that house you will have a lot to speak you will have a lot to contribute so your health, your uh, the barometer, the measurement in that area, your knowledge, your uh, wisdom, your experience, your opinion, your identity, everything is very strong. Okay, so in that sense, there is vitality and health. And of course, if Surya is well placed, you will have physical vitality, energy also. Okay, in Kendra especially, you know, in tenth house, you have very much high, very high motivation for your career because you are successful, and success breeds more success, right? In general, not always. Number four, there is purpose and direction. Now, what is what is purpose again? Purpose is like you have a very strong goal regarding that house. So, for example, again, if Surya is you know in your you know, fifth house, it says that the person is very creative. Why? 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 Because think, Surya is in the fifth. There is vitality. You know, as I said, you know, in point number three. Now, point number four, there is purpose. You're not just doing it as a hobby, you know, you, you, you are like trying to master it. So therefore, it becomes a very, very, very important skill for you. Okay, so therefore, uh, there is purpose. You just don't want to learn certain things. You want to master it. You want to be the number one in that field. Okay, and there is direction because the sun is the karak of light. Surya is Prakash, right? So when Surya is in a particular house, you know what to do in that area. So, for example, again, Surya gets Digbal in the tent. So, you know what to do in your profession, how to lead others, how to uh, have have a vision for your profession and for other people. So, you become famous, you get a lot of money, name, fame, position, respect. Okay, so, that's uh, number four, purpose and direction. Now, number five, uh, there could be uh, something to do with authority figures or your father especially. So, Suppose, you know, your uh, Surya is in the fourth. It is possible that your father might have been into real estate. But don't take it in a black and white sense, you know, because there are only 12 houses. And you know, it will not happen that uh, your father uh, will literally be in that area. Okay, no, no scripture or no classic says that. But what could happen is your father may not be into real estate. But suppose your Surya is fourth thought, then it can happen. Uh, your father has some good contacts in real estate or your father's friend or you know your the relatives of your father's side they have some contacts or if you go into real estate because that's your chart right you have Surya in the four so then you will get good contacts you know through your father even though those people are not from real estate okay so that's how it is and that is why they say you know like if Surya is in the tenth your uh, ten or nine, you know, your father was very famous, like you know, government, politics, uh, bureaucracy, law, and all this. Okay, so then what happens is you, it, be, your life journey becomes a bit easier because you have contact with all the famous people of that area. Okay, so therefore, if you want to uh, start a business, maybe uh, it's a, it's not a bad idea to start if you are confused and if you don't know. Then maybe it's a good area to see those two houses, which sun rules and where sun is placed. You can start a business related to those houses. Okay, you you have very high chances of success because you will have energy, vision, passion, everything there. Okay. Now, number six. This is the cream. Wherever Surya is sitting or lording, there will be name, fame, and recognition because sun is the light. So what is the light? Sun is the king of all the planets. So you are like the king of that area. Or you want to become the king of that area. Okay, so this is uh, related to public recognition and fame. Okay, so therefore, uh, wherever Surya is in your chart, you might get limelight because of that area of life or you will be in spotlight. Okay. So, for example, again, Surya in the you know tenth house could be uh, you, you you get a lot of name fame in your profession. Okay, now this is good, but this is also problematic if Surya is badly placed, you know, in Dustana houses. So it's like saying you are in limelight because of wrong reasons. Okay, so if you have Surya in six, eight, twelve, then very dangerous uh, for name and fame because 
if suppose Surya is in your eighth and there's a scandal, oh my God, the scandal is on uh, is on the limelight. Okay, everybody knows about your scandal, so very dangerous. Okay, so if Surya is in a Dustala house, beware of scandals. Don't break the law, or no, because you will get famous uh, in in ways that you may not like. Okay. <laughs> So I know whenever people hear, you know, fame and recognition, they expect all the nice things. The nice things will be there, but uh, yeah, not all, right? <laughs> Number seven, wherever Surya is sitting or lording, there will be self-expression. So when Surya is in a particular house or lording, then you will want to do things in that house as per your ideas. You, you will want to apply your logic. You will not be able to tolerate if somebody, uh, some, uh, some other person is coming and, you know, dictating you, do this, do that. No, you will be like, no, no, I want to do it my way. My way or highway. <laughs> Get in, oh, what is that? Fall in line or fall away, right? So, why this is important? Because the, the son is the king and wherever the king is sitting, the, the king, king does not like interference, okay? So the sun show in your chart shows that aspect of you which believes you are a king in that area of life. Okay, so therefore you do not like interference. Not that you don't like interference everywhere in general, but specifically in that area you may not like it. Okay, because the, the, that's reality. Like the sun uh, does not like interference. Okay, and the sun does not like to take orders because the sun is the one giving orders always. Okay, so therefore. The sun will want to get things done, but in its own way, okay? So, therefore, self-expression is there. Very important. Number eight, there are ego tussles, ego problems. Mm -hmm. Difficult one. So, this will be good. This will be there uh, primarily if the sun is badly placed, which means if sun is in a... Dusta, in a Dustala house or you know, if Surya is in a bad sign like you know air sign for example like Surya gets debilitated in Libra or you know not not a great sign for Surya like Gemini or Aquarius either okay so therefore uh, if Surya is badly placed as per sign or by house then you will have ego tussles you know like for example Surya is in the sixth house there will be too much ego tussles with your colleagues you know uh, so therefore, uh, you need to watch out for ego tussles, and uh, there could be uh, there could be battles which you need to fight. Okay, Ima imagine the lion has to fight, right, to hunt food. Uh, I mean, to get food, he has to go and hunt other animals, and you know, get bloody all over sometimes. Okay, so there could be battles, and remember history, right? Kings, or maybe even now dictators or. Uh, prime ministers or presidents of countries you know fighting so wherever Surya is there will be some bloodshed there because of evil okay now number nine wherever there is Surya there will be creative power now what is what is creative power it is is it similar to like you know self-expression <laughs> well uh, not really this is not creativity in generic sense the fifth house okay not not that but Wherever Surya is, you will have a desire to create something of your own, like like create a legacy or something like that. Okay, a long-lasting legacy which nobody forgets or which you think nobody will forget. <laughs> so therefore, this thing is very important because the sun has a very highly creative energy. And because of that, the sun wants to do something new. So new innovation, you know, it could be new art, or leadership, or whatever, it could be anything, okay? And so, if suppose, you know, Surya is in the fourth, you might have a desire to you know, make your house in such a way that, which is like unique, you know, it's like a very creative house, but the design, uh, exterior, interior, everything, it's like something very new. So, it's like uh, that, that particular house is uh, shining in the entire street, okay? It may not be a big or a luxurious house, but there will be something very unique about that house. You will see. So, you will have a desire that whenever somebody comes, they will praise me uh, and uh, go from here, okay? So, you want to create something praiseworthy, okay? Last but not the least... You will have moral integrity. Now, what is moral integrity? So, 
wherever sun sits you will feel very righteous about that place so you will feel that you know everything related to that house now this is good and also bad at times okay so for example if surya is in the 7th they say it is not a good combination for uh, not a good placement for marriage most of the times why do they say that because if surya is in the 7th you may always think that whatever decisions you make in your marriage you are the only person who is right and the other person is wrong so then that will create rifts in your marriage right so therefore this has to be seen in balance so for this don't get into obsession and or uh, don't just you know go around like you know bullying others and uh, forcing others to do what you want but give space to others at the same time do what you think is right for you okay so this is a very interesting thing about the sun that uh, it can give you a lot of moral high ground you know like for example uh, surya is in the ninth house you think you your religion is the best or you know uh, you think your religious practice is the best okay something like that it can happen okay and that is why they say the sun if in the lagna or 10th uh, makes you very dominating why because you somehow think that you know you and your skill set because first house is you and the 10th house is the skill sets right so you or your skill sets they are you know like the best and there's nobody better than you okay <laughs> so that gives you a lot of ego and narcissism okay so therefore uh um, see wherever your sun is placed and see whichever house sun lords in your chart all right and you will see these 10 traits manifesting and if they are not manifesting try to manifest the positive side of all these 10 traits all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him for sure if you enjoy this video don't forget with the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you are new and for personalized horoscope consultations you can go to my website now in the description section jai siaram